Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for you guys from October 18th through the 24th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and also Cross Watcher. So if you are new to my channel, please have a look around and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. Comment and I will always comment back to new subscribers. I actually already started your reading, but I got interrupted. I'm going to try to do it again. My dog is, <laughs> I'm using the dog tarot and I also am dealing with my dog right now who's temperamental, but that's not what this is about. So this is Sagittarius energy. This is something about needing to get balanced here. Okay. This is also about uh, healing and transcending to a new level here. So you guys could have gone through like a huge uh, metamorphosis here. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so you, you're you in this powerful place right now, okay? You're really um, unlocking the key to a lot of your power here. Now, this is a love reading, so um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, or a Virgo. The magician is Gemini and Virgo. I think this is potentially a very uh, powerful um, healing dynamic here. Ooh, okay. So I just did Gemini and I had the tower. So you could have had a tower moment with a Gemini. I just did the Gemini reading and that was the first card that came out. So um, there could have been something unexpected that happened with something that kind of like rattled your world here. I want to get some more cards. So let's see what else is going on. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, could also be Taurus or Virgo. This is you, I feel like finding your, your ground here, okay? Page of Pentacles. Hmm. And then we've got King of Cups reversed. What I just got from this is that this is Scorpio energy. I feel like someone has maybe been withholding their emotions from you, withholding communication, emotion from you. But instead of like trying to beat down this like door with them, I feel like you're just kind of doing you. If you aren't, this is saying that you should because I feel like a lot of what's happening right now for you is to try to find um, a way to, you know, invest in yourself, invest in your own stability, invest in your own healing, invest in finding your own power. And if someone is withholding emotionally from you to find a way either to let that person go or to not let that like um, rock your world here. Okay. Because that's really their own issue. And I feel in the past, you may have personalized it. We have two pages here. There could be some like, um, immaturity here but i also feel and then we have um yeah so the seven of wands so yeah like i said this is their issue um which in the past i feel you may have taken it on there could have been some elements of codependency where someone around you had an issue and you took it on as your fault but i feel like this is saying um, this is also Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy, and Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So those are common signs that we're getting here, but we also have Scorpio. Um, let me get one more card here. I also feel it could be um, beneficial for you to be a little bit guarded here, because I just feel like there's things that you want to be doing, and you don't want to lose your energy with this person, okay? Ace of Cups reverse. It's kind of like... What I feel you guys are feeling right now is like love isn't really on your side. This emotional connection isn't there, but there's a reason it's happening and it's for you guys to find your own strength, find your own resolve and to find your own way. And I feel like this person will come around when they see like you're kind of doing you, okay? But um, let's get more clarity. I'm gonna use this um, yin and yang oracle from Angelic Revelation 144. So, um, Let's get clarity on that. I'm also being called to use the romance angels. Inner conflict, okay? Happiness, yeah, and it's kind of like, I feel like this is saying like, don't waste your energy just sitting there going back and forth. Like find your own happiness. It does not have to be with the person you wanted it to be or you thought it was gonna be. That's your lesson here because eventually, if you find the passion within you, you're going to find that perfect love, okay? Look, so the deep emotions is interesting because the King of Cups has deep emotions. So I feel like 
and that's what you had reversed. I feel like that's why you guys are frustrated because you know this person has deep feelings for you. You know this has the potential to be the perfect love, but this person's got their own inner conflicts and that is not your issue. And pushing them to get to a clarity is not going to help you or them or the connection. So I feel like there's a lesson here of letting go of control. So that might be a card that comes up here in the Romance Angels. And we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. That could be it too. So you guys have some karmic uh, past life stuff here. And that could also be part of their inner conflict. You deserve love. Look at that. You are lovable. Okay. You deserve what you're seeking. You deserve to not have to force someone to come through in the way you want them to come through. Okay. Okay. deception okay so you could feel like and trust i feel in a way you guys were actually deceiving yourselves and this is about you building trust with yourself because i feel like there were red flags but you told yourself no it's okay and it's because you do have a past life love and you do feel like this person could love you in a way where it's like they know your soul they know you very well but i just feel like they're not in that place right now and um so you're kind of like confused because it's kind of like you feel like you met this person because you guys were supposed to get it right and then like they're not really stepping up to the plate i feel like they're very internally conflicted okay let's get into what their issues are now this is a very shadowy deck so um you know it could be some harsh stuff but we'll take it as it resonates this is from carrie from celestial forecast this is shadows and secrets so what are their shadows what are their secrets i definitely feel like they're just struggling with um i just heard insecurities okay abandonment the pixie a hoarder untidy excessively oh virgos do not like that okay i almost feel like their messiness is like it's almost like insulting to you like because they know you're a Virgo they know that you care about that stuff and they it's almost like a reflection of them like disrespecting you okay and they have blurred lines sending you mixed signals unclear about their intentions and the relationship in and out of your life ambiguous boundaries you can't pinpoint this person and that is what I feel is bringing up this sense of like lack of control for you because um it's very blurry like that's what I'm getting this like conflict like um I want to use this deck but I don't have it handy so I gotta grab it I think it's very confusing for you because on one le level you know that they have deep emotions for you but their behavior sends you mixed signals and you just can't seem to pinpoint what the deal is here okay so um but I feel a lot of it is about refocusing your energy to yourself that's why that keeps coming up in the reading okay i'm going to go into the soul activation shadows and get more clarity on these shadows so these actually aren't the worst shadows in that other deck they're not like i don't feel like they're lying to you you do have deception but i feel like that's more you guys deceived yourself by thinking this would be an easy seamless dynamic when there's a lot of layers to it and this person has got a lot of issues and there was a lot of like areas where I just feel like you knew you weren't going to be compatible oh my god you guys did I not say this there's insecurity here I also feel their insecurity you're starting to feel it and it's like you guys mirror it because they bring out things that make you feel insecure and it's their insecurities that's bringing it out and this is a solar plexus issue wow and this is messiness too I kind of get the messy energy there so hmm interesting self-limiting they have like they're kind of in like sometimes like a negative nancy i feel like this person they like they talk themselves out of things they they think of things in a negative way they don't go after what they want and that's the other thing guys because that's the energy i was starting off with you i feel like you guys are supposed to be paving the way to show them like with your own initiative like when they see that they're going to be inspired you guys are like mirrors here Okay, so let's get from my Twin Flame Poetic Confessions. What do they want to say to you here, Virgos? Nostalgia. Take me back to that very first night. This time I promised to do everything right. I feel like they almost feel like they messed things up too much with you guys. Like they have 
like tainted your relationship like they wish they could do it all over because they they know they've let you down in a lot of ways okay timing yeah there's something about going back in time if i can turn back time timing is everything this i know i know i didn't take the opportunity when it was my love i should have shown uh, you know it's weird i get this feeling with this dynamic it's not that i don't even get 100 percent you're in separation from this person you could be but i feel it's more so you guys have been together physically but emotionally and mentally they've just been checked out but it just could also be that this person isn't in your life and they've just been holding back i feel like they've kind of made you feel there is a connection but they just haven't given enough to this dynamic okay and a lot has to do with their own insecurities and their own beliefs about if they can even be a good partner. I feel like they have a lot of insecurities about that. And so they almost like have a self-fulfilling prophecy. All right, Virgos. So that is your reading. I hope it resonates with you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you guys next time. If you're new to my channel, like I said, please subscribe and comment. And I will comment back. See you guys soon. Bye.